Several times this week, we've heard from viewers thanking the 8 on your side team for telling them how to spot a scam email. Here's an example of what we're talking about. A viewer forwarded this email appearing to be coming from Chase Bank. It claimed that $458 had been charged to the customer's account to renew Norton virus protection for their computer. And of course, there's a number to call to dispute this transaction. But she recognized the scam as soon as she saw this. The email was addressed to Dear User, not addressed to her by her first and last name. Most businesses go out of their way to be as personal as they can with their customers, which includes using your first and last name. And that's the first sign of this scam. Scammers don't know your name because they just send out these emails to random addresses hoping to snag someone like you in their trap. Another viewer tells us she was just about to respond to a similar email coming from Amazon, and she remembered the warning that she heard from the 8 on your side team. She checked the email, and it was addressed to her email address and not her first and last name. It's little warning signs like this that will help you spot a scam and stop a scam. I'm Brian Roach, on your side, WGAL News 8.